The spike in coronavirus cases in Hawaii continues with another day of cases in the double digits. But Hawaii is continuing to reopen as planned with more businesses resuming operations just this past weekend. And joining us this morning with more is Lieutenant Governor and the state's COVID-19 liaison, Dr. Josh Green. Good morning to you, Lieutenant Governor. Thanks again for joining us. Good morning. Let's get right to the cases. We're seeing spikes. We're seeing some clusters. Can you attribute this to any single factor? Uh, yeah, it's it's mostly attributable to people being in close groups without masks on uh, inside. And so we've had some cases where we, for instance, had that cluster at a church in Waipahu where a lot of individuals spent significant amount of time together and. With just a couple people sick, you will get spread to everyone that's in the uh, in the moment together. So that's where most of it's occurred. We have seen, of course, uh, some fatigue on mask wearing. We see that outside sometimes in some of our large gatherings. But we also saw the cluster on Kauai where one individual in a family ended up infecting. This is very common. All the other individuals in the household. So it's been an amazingly low number as compared to what the mainland is experiencing even when you try to make it apples to apples comparisons but it's not something that I don't worry about I certainly want us to all continue to wear masks and keep the numbers as low as we can so it's not Hawaii reopening too soon or Hawaii not reopening properly it's just Hawaii residents letting their guards down well and in addition to that we also are seeing some functional changes like for instance opening up uh, restaurants or small businesses so there is more opportunity for people to be face to face actually I think people have done extraordinarily well overall at restaurants there have been a few moments where I've peeked into uh, an, an institution or two a restaurant or a bar or an office and I can see that people are hugging and kissing as they welcome each other back to semi normalcy and that you know it's, it's expected it's with human nature to to embrace those that we've missed but for the most part, it's amazing that there hasn't been more in the way of spread. So just I would remind everybody, if you're indoors and you're with people that aren't your family, you should definitely be wearing a mask. That's critical because social distancing and wearing masks are the best two things we've got going. Having said that, do you believe that we should safely remain on track in terms of opening up the state to the rest of the nation? If we do it safely. If we do it with absolute certainty that we're going to reduce all of the cases cases that we can, if we provide for a test to decrease the risk uh, so people come in here negative, if we do all that the Department of Health has been recommending, which is uh, very thorough tracing and tracking, we should continue to beef that up. Also temperature screening and thermal scanners. If we do all those things, we will do, we will do fine because at some time, at some point, travelers will return. Uh, but if we do it as safely as, as possible and we do it with the, um, the people's health at top of mind, we'll be fine. You had a lot of ifs in there, so are we planning to do that, and is the timeline still the same? So I, I defer completely to the governor. Uh, announcements will come quite soon, maybe even sooner than you can imagine. And, uh, you know, he's asked me to work hard on this kind of an issue, and a lot of other people across the state. I would say this uh, we will not take any chances. And as things explode on the mainland, the governor will always have the prerogative to pump the brakes a little bit because, as you reported just a moment ago, internationally we saw a million cases in the last eight days. Hawaii has done extremely well because of the sacrifice of our people. But just because we succeeded in phase one doesn't mean that phase two couldn't overwhelm us. So I've got reams and reams of plans to make sure that we do a good job but I defer to the governor to make the announcements and set the timetable, of course. All right. Thank you so much, Lieutenant Governor Josh Green, for joining us. And, of course, Dr. Green will be sticking around to answer your Facebook questions a little later in the show. But for now, let's send things over to Chris.